It's Selma Kim, America's face of dating, and today we're going to talk about how girls test guys, what really even a test is, and then how to pass them successfully. So let's jump right into it. So I was doing a coaching session the other day and uh, this guy's a little new to the attraction world, the dating world. And so uh, what really happened was that he goes to the club and at the club, these girls come up to him and they're just like, hey, they, let's go let's go get a drink at the bar together. And so he thinks that they're really hitting it off, right? So they go to the bar and the girls are like, buy us a drink. And he's like, okay. So he buys them a drink. Five minutes after they down the shot together, the girls are like, hey, we have to go to the bathroom. We'll be right back. Just wait right here, right? And so he's like, okay. And so he, he's waiting there, waiting there, waiting there. An hour goes by, gets up, and he sees these girls leaving with another guy. And so he hits me up. He's like, what the hell? Like, what the fuck? I thought I did everything right. And he's like, was I being used? Was I being taken advantage of? Or were they testing me? And I'll tell you exactly what I told him is that I don't know. Okay, I don't know what was really going on in that situation, but I can tell you from being a club promoter and seeing it firsthand is that people will people will take advantage of you. Okay, like I am not gonna BS you. I'm more of like the red pill kind of guy where it's like I just see reality for what it is and I saw it for what it was, and that there is girls and there's guys too that will just flat out take advantage of somebody if they see that they can get the chance to walk all over them. But we don't know if it was that. But what, but what I can tell you, okay, I can't tell you if that's what was going on. But what I can tell you is that there were two common tests in that story that I just shared with you. And most men, 99% of men would never have picked up on it. Okay. And the truth is, I'll tell you what they were in a second. But the truth is, is that women will test you in all shapes and sizes. For example, she may ask you, for a favor and that was the very first test that he may have received is that girls will ask a guy to buy them a drink or buy me a drink or help me find my friend to test to see if he has no spine because if she sees that he can't even stand up for himself then how could he ever protect her and also the second one there was that they asked him to wait there they asked him to wait there like a little puppy dog right and they were trying to test to see if and some girls do this, I'm not saying that this was his situation, but I want him to be more aware of for the future, you know, in case this actually happens to him so he can stand up for himself, so he can actually do something about it. And girls will ask a guy to just wait there for him and see if he does, because if he does, then he's waiting there for like, like a little puppy dog for her and then she sees that uh, she can walk all over him. Another one is beauty, a woman's beauty. This is very, this is a common test in the thing is that women don't even know that this is a test. And if men crumble in front of a beautiful woman, then it's showing her that you're very easy to control, basically. Like, you're not very strong. It's like, if beauty can make you crumble, then imagine what life is going to do. So she's like, okay, like, I don't want to be with him because if my beauty makes him fall apart, imagine what would it be like if we're in a dark alley and some guy wants to, like, uh, take me or kill me. What is he going to do? He's going to crumble easily in a dark alley. If I, if I, if he had to fight off a man for me, he wouldn't be able to do it. Another one, another common one is that she may call you out on something you said a moment ago to see if you try to validate yourself to her. Basically, if she calls you out, this could be verbally or distancing herself actually is another one. She wants to see if you start validating yourself to her. Cause if you just start verbally uh, explaining yourself, then that's just showing needy behavior. The most common one that I received in the club promoting world was especially if your game is on fire, like if you have some really good communication skills, if you know how to flirt with a woman, if you know how to banter back and forth with a woman, they will commonly try to see if you're a player, right? They will see if you're a womanizer or they'll be like, you think you're so hot, don't you? Or you are a player or you're a womanizer. You probably talk to a bunch of different girls. And I've probably gotten that over a thousand times. And it's like, I can respond to that in my sleep and double her attraction instantly. I'll give you the secret responses near the end. But, you know, what really is a test? And a lot of people don't even know that a test is happening. And, and you're going to be tested not only by women, but you're going to be tested throughout your entire life, whether that's by men, whether that's by life itself trying to pin you to the ground, or whether that's by women just in a small conversation. But a test from a woman 
really the best raw definition that I can give you of that is <sighs> women were biologically hardwired to mate with the strongest man, basically the alpha male of the group because they, they want to reproduce with the strongest man because that's going to give their kids uh, stronger genes, making them more likely to survive in the world and conquer this world, right? And so if she sees that a man has weak genes, then she's not going to want to mate with him because that means they're going to produce weak offspring. It's been basically hardwired into us for centuries since like the caveman days. But here's the thing is that uh, tests, they only come out when there's a spike of attraction in the conversation. And so basically you could be talking to her, uh, she feels some attraction in that moment and her programming stops her. It puts it like a, like a limiter on her from becoming out of control, attracted to you and just not being able to control herself, which a lot of guys would look at that and they and they become bitter at women because they don't know that they're being tested. And so they fail these tests and her interest starts to go lower and lower and lower and they become bitter and frustrated with them. And they're like, I gave her everything or I don't even understand. Like I did this for her, you know, and they become bitter because they don't understand that they're being tested. But tests are good for two reasons. And that is First, if she didn't have that natural programming within her to just to test men, if she feels attracted to them, then she's going to be sleeping with guys left and right, up and down all day long. And there's been girls that I've met who I, I think that they don't actually have that program because they are sleeping with men left and right and all over the place, you know? And so I'm like, I don't know if like this uh, applies to some women, but you probably want a woman with standards, right? And so the second... The second good reason, this is the best reason of all, is that, think about it, I said earlier that tests only come out when she feels a spike of attraction, like a stock. You know how volatile can begin to spike on the chart, then go down a little bit, then spike? They come out when she feels a rush of attraction for you. For example, you could just say something funny and she'd be like, ha you're ugly, you know? <laughs> and so... Three things that you need to know about tests. And the first is that you need to know exactly what a test is, which I already explained. Number two, you need to know when you are being tested. You need to be aware of when you're being tested. And number three, you need to know how to react to those tests. Because if there's a spike of attraction, if you fail that test and the attraction goes back down, right? Like a video game. Uh, a video game is like if you pass through the gates, then you power up basically. When you pass those tests, she views you as more attracted, and then you can move on to the next level. But if you fail those tests, then you go back to the next level and you have to start all over again, right? And so number three is that you need to know how to handle those tests and how to pass those tests by remaining uh, unreactive to her tests and then maintaining your frame during the interaction. And so uh, one of the most common tests that I find it absolutely insane how many times how many times a week i actually get this question whether that's coaching people whether that's in my inbox or in my email or on social media i can't believe how many times a week i've actually gotten this question that's this is a common fail and this is women they will test you from the very beginning and throughout your entire relationship with them a lot of people just think it's in the beginning and then just stops no it happens over your lifetime and so i just spit that out there right now because a lot of guys they think that after they get into this relationship with a woman after they start dating her, after they lock her down, they're like, oh, everything's good. I'm not going to be tested. Like, everything is good. Like, Hollywood shows you no fucking way. You will be tested your entire life. And so you better, if you're a man, you better fucking prepare for that. Okay? You will be tested by life, women, other men, to see how badly you really want it. And so, here's a common fail that I see in plenty of relationships, plenty of marriages, is that they come in my inbox and they're just like, my girlfriend keep saying that I don't give her enough blank, whether that's attention, reassurance, one of the two usually. And the guy, he's like, he's like pulling his hair out. He's like, I talked to her for six hours on the phone last night. I, I took her out to dinner. I cuddled her. I told her this and that. I bought her this. And then the girl, when he tells that to her, logically responding to her, she gets even more mad. And then he becomes even more confused. And here's the thing is that the cure for this, okay? Women don't want you to verbally, logically respond 
to her tests, okay? Women, they're very touchy and feely and in the moment. And so when they're feeling something in the moment, I heard this from David Data, is that women tend to see in colors, okay? So when they are angry with you, then she tends to see the past and the future and the present moment as like, let's say, red. And so that's why women will say when they're mad at you, they're like, you're the worst boyfriend. You've never given me this. You've never given me that. You don't do this, right? But when she's happy, she's seeing like, let's say yellow. And then she's like, oh, you're the best boyfriend. Like you've always been the best boyfriend and leaves a lot of guys confused. And that's why they become bitter, right? But the cure for that, since women are very in the moment people, the cure for that is that instead of logically responding to her tests, when she says, you don't give me enough, let's say, attention. All it is is that that's what she's feeling in that very moment. That's the color that she's seeing in that moment. And so you need to replace that color with like a pattern interrupt and you need to pass that test. A lot of guys that verbally, logically respond to her tests. Instead, don't, you gotta maintain your frame and do not logically respond. Don't, don't take her words for face value. Look at what she's feeling in that moment. And what she's feeling is that she doesn't have attention. That's why she brought that up. And so what you need to do is you got to be like, God, I fucking love it when you crave me like this. Like I can tell how much you love me. I can tell how much you crave me. Like you're maintaining your frame. And another common thing that I'll do is that I will grab her hips and I'll back her into the wall when she says something like that, when she wants attention. I'll just be like, God, like keep talking like this. It's turning me on so bad. And eventually she's going to fall back into your frame. Okay, you got to maintain your frame. It's totally illogical, right? She's like, I want attention. Then you start backing her into the wall and you're just like, okay, I'm going to give you some fucking attention. That's what you want. Fucking man up, dominate her ass. And so that is the cure for that. You need to use, okay, have you ever heard that law when they're getting arrested? And they're like, everything you say can and will be used against you. That's the thing with Tess throughout the entire relationship, whether you first met her or in the relationship, everything... Everything that she says and does is proof that she fucking wants you and she can't handle her emotions around you because she just wants you that bad. It's You have to maintain that frame that everything she is doing, she is doing because she wants you and she can't fucking, she can't handle herself. She can't control herself. And so some common tests that I have, uh, let's, let me give you some tests here and then how to respond to these tests. For example, the distance tests. Sometimes when you're talking to her, when you're, you know, when you have, when you're not dating her yet or serious, but, uh, when you first started talking to her, she will become distant and she will just like, kind of just like distance herself from you. Right. And that's a usual test because if she randomly becomes distant and then you start chasing her, because a lot of guys will start chasing her validation, right? They'll be like, why are you being distant? Like what I do, right? They're acting like total fucking bitches. And that's validation seeking behavior. And that's how you fail the test. Instead, you need to have the mindset like, she must really, really like me to be acting like this. I literally said everything she does needs to be proof that she wants you. And so if she becomes distant, you need to be like, God, like she's only acting like this because she is really fucking into me. And if you say that to her, then she's going to just probably break out and start laughing. She's like, no, I'm not. And you're like, oh my gosh, you are so fucking into me. Like, please, like you need to control yourself right now. Like, like you're acting like a little kid. Another one, like I said earlier, the favor test when she's like, buy me a drink. Most guys want to please her. And then she figures out that she can walk all over you. And she figures out that it's like, why buy the cow when you're getting the milk for free, right? So instead, uh, one of my favorites is, okay, you buy the first round and I'll buy the second round. Or um, you ask her for some extravagant, extravagant favor. So it's like, if she's like, buy me a drink and be like, okay, um, but I need you. I'm going to the airport on Friday, next Friday, and I need you to pull up in a limo for me and also have a bottle of champagne for me. Um, I'm flying first class. You know, I really need that from you. So... Uh, if you could do that, then that'd be great. You could be like, okay, I left my wallet in my car, so it's three miles down the road. I need you to go run out there barefoot uh, in the snow. Go get that for me. Come back. And I don't know if I have any cash in there, so like, you're just taking like a risk to do that. But if you go do that, then we can definitely consider that. Um, one of the most unique tests that I've ever gotten that I've only gotten one time was when I was in the club and I was teaching guys how to pick up women and it was like our own little like boot camp. And I was teaching guys how to talk to girls in the club and pick up girls. And so there was this Michigan University dancer in this lime green dress. And I pulled her to the dark part of the club away from her friends because she was giving me the eyes. And we started making out. And while we're making out, she pulls back and she's like, 
you know, I'm like the mom of the group. Like, you know, my friends like need me probably. And what are most guys gonna be in, what are most guys gonna do in that situation? They're gonna be like, oh yeah, totally. Like, you know, like, let's go, let's go back to your friends. Like, I'll let you go back to your friends, right? That's not what she fucking wants though. Like, obviously she's here. She's looking you in the eye. She wants you. And so what you have to do is just pass that test. And so what I did after she said, I'm like the mom of the group. I was like, I backed away a little bit and I was like, oh my fucking God. And she was like, what? And I was like, I love moms. And I pulled her in, we started making out, she started laughing. And then she ended up forgetting about her friends and that's what happens. Another one that you get, if your game is very, very strong, very, very powerful is that a lot of girls, they will be like, you think you're so hot, don't you? And I'll be like a thousand degrees and not one less. Another one is a lot of girls when your game is very strong. Again, they will be like, God, you're like a player. You probably talk to all these other girls. And I love this response. I forget where I got it from. I didn't make this response. I think it was from Jason Capital, but uh, this response is just gold. And I'll always say, I use this so many times and it just works like clockwork. So, you know, they'll be like, oh, you probably talk to a lot of girls. And I'll be like, that's funny because uh, every girl that's ever said that to me has ended up falling for me. <laughs> and it just works in, it's just incredible how it works. So go use that. But you need to use scarcity against her. It's like there are probably 5 billion guys that have not even heard or have read my book or are too fucking lazy to read my book. And so it's like these girls, they're bored. They are not getting excited by these conversations when guys don't know how to pass their tests. Marriages are more bored than ever nowadays. Relationships are more boring than ever. The sex is more boring than ever. The conversations are not stimulating or exciting. And so what the fuck do you think happens when you get a man like me or you that comes with me and you give her this once in a lifetime conversation? Of course she's gonna fucking test you because she's never had that before. And that's actually something that I've actually said to girls before. I'm just like, you've never met a man like me. And I fucking, I can see it in your eyes. And they're just like, damn, like I really have it. So use these to pass any girl's tests. And I'll be back next time. I'm Selma Kim, America's Face of Dating. And I'll see you next time.